Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today we're covering Google's Gemini and Gemini Advanced. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you're curious about Google's new AI chatbot Gemini or what's going on with Bard, Duet AI, and Assistant, then yes. Questions answered in this video. What happened to Bard and extensions? What is happening to Duet AI and Google Assistant? Google Gemini, Advanced, Pro, and Ultra, what are they? How do you get Gemini Advanced? How do they work? Is Gemini Advanced any better? We'll go over some examples so you can make that decision and we'll end with the most important question, why should you care? Let's jump right in. So here we are at gemini.google.com. Quick caveat, I have made a number of BARD videos. Those are linked in the description below. Those will cover the basics. We're jumping right into the what happened to BARD and what's going on with Gemini and Advanced. So skipping some of the basics, again, check out in the description down below if you need to get caught up. All right, so the first question I promised you that I would ask and answer, I'm asking Gemini so you can see how it works. What happened to Google BARD and the BARD extensions? They were replaced by Gemini and Gemini Advanced. That's the, that's the short answer. Extensions didn't go anywhere and we will cover those in a little bit. Seems you might have a bit of a misunderstanding. No, I just asking a question, but thanks for the attitude. <laughs> There's the answer. I'm going to link this entire thread in the description below so we won't cover the entirety of the answers during this video just so we can keep this thing moving. I also promised you that I would answer the questions about Duet and Google Assistant. Duet AI is being replaced as we speak by Gemini. So you'll see that happen if you had Duet AI. And if you didn't, then you won't see it happen. Uh, Google Assistant is... Well, Google is trying to replace Google Assistant with Gemini. And if you happen to be a power user of Google Assistant and woke up with Gemini working on your phone instead of Google Assistant the other day, um, you will know very well why this is not working out so well. Gemini is not doing a great job replacing Assistant, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, those are the short answers about what is happening to those two things. And here is the end of that chat, just in case you wanted to hit pause and check that out. All right, the last or next, sorry, next question. Google Gemini, Gemini Advanced, Pro, and Ultra, what's going on? And so the long version of the question here, it's interesting that it, there we go. There's the full question. All right. These three things, what do they mean? Okay, so. Gemini, which I'm going to call regular Gemini, so you, you know that I'm not misspeaking when I, and I'm not, not saying advanced. So regular Gemini, just Gemini, and Gemini advanced. So regular Gemini is powered by Pro 1.0. Gemini advanced is powered by Ultra 1.0. These are both models that power these named versions of Gemini. There is also a 1.5 Pro out there. What is that all about? Well, that is a limited release version of Pro that has a 1 million token context window. It's a big deal because that equals about one hour of video or 11 hours of audio. What does that mean? What's a so what? An example, a professor at Wharton named Ethan Mollick took The Great Gatsby, the entire book, changed only two things, fed the entire book to this Gemini Pro 1.5 model, and it discovered or, or saw or realized or captured the two things that were changed. If you've ever uploaded large data sets to like Claude and asked questions, I don't wanna say it often makes mistakes, but I usually expect it to. For this Gemini Pro 1.5 to find the two things without making a mistake is pretty impressive. And as I just explained, Pro is currently associated with the regular Gemini model, and that's free. Gemini regular, I'm calling it regular, Gemini regular, which is powered by Pro 1.0, is free. Gemini advanced is the one that costs 20 bucks a month, again, powered by Ultra 1.0. All right, what else am I missing here? I think I've hit all the three major pieces. How do you get Gemini advanced? Well, I'm gonna ask that question as well. And by the way, Everything that I explained here should be captured in this answer. And that'll, this again, be linked in the description down below. All right, so here we go. Google 
or Gemini Advanced, how do you get it? And it's going to be through Google One. So Google One AI Premium is what you have to buy. It's 20 bucks. If you're already using Google One, it is a upgrade or yeah, it's an upgrade. It's an extra 10 bucks a month. So you're paying 10 for Google One already. It's an extra 10 bucks. So total 20 bucks a month, no matter what, for the Google AI Premium package. It's going to come with all the basic stuff that Google One comes with. So um, two terabytes of drive space, VPN, et cetera, et cetera. It also comes with AI, this AI premium upgrade. It comes with two months free. So if you want to check it out, which is what I'm doing, might as well. It's also going to come with, of course, Gemini Advanced. And you're going to see that in Gmail and Docs. And you're going to see the Duet AI help me features show up. So help me write, help me visualize, help me organize. And I'll include links to those explainers for those down in the description down below. And those are going to be for videos that I had using Google Labs that is now apparently available through Google Duet AI, which is being renamed Gemini. <laughs> oh, Google. In any event, the last piece you'll get with Gemini Advanced, of course you get Advanced and everything I just described, You'll also get this proofread feature, which I just sh I saw just show up. Uh, it seems kind of like a so you see here it's it's highlighted checkout over here, and then you see on the right hand side you you see how it's giving me some replacement opportunities for these things that it has determined were wrong. I'm going to call this a Grammarly light and a um, spell check plus. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but there you go. That's what it looks like. All right. So we just talked about how to get Gemini Advanced. Again, all this stuff is going to be in the description below. And Gemini Details. So how has it changed? Explain the bar to Gemini similarities and differences. So if you hadn't already noticed by looking at it, uh, up here, you can see I can toggle between Gemini and Gemini Advanced, and you'll see that if you don't have Advanced, and you'll see that you can't select Gemini Advanced. So you'll want to get it, right? <laughs> um, so there you go. There's the toggle. That's new. And this menu will expand over here to show you the whole history. And they have merged the history and pinned now. And so you just need to click the Show Less or Show More to get your entire history. And in the Settings menu, that is where they have moved extensions. Extensions used to be up here. I believe that is the totality of all the changes to the uh, user interface here for Gemini and Gemini Advanced. Again, they're both the same as it relates to the UI. And you're like, Josh, you just lost that history. It probably didn't, and it should be right there. That's where we left off. I'm going to go ahead and start a new chat, though, because of context windows. We don't have that 1 million, context, 1 million token context window yet. All right, so how or is Gemini Advanced any better? So let's start with that question. The big soundbite or thing that I keep seeing in many places is how Gemini Advanced perform better than a human on the massive multitask language understanding or MMLU. And it, this is apparently a big deal. Um, Google also will tell us that it's better at reasoning, educational tasks, coding, and creating. It's also better at longer and more detailed conversations and has better understanding and historic, of historical context. So there you go. All of that should be contained here in this very long answer as well. And again, I'm going to include both links to both of these in the description below. The best way to tell if it's any better is just look at some examples. So we're going to jump into that next. How does it do? And for the first example, we're going to go, we're going to show an example of reasoning skills. And this is a great prompt that I borrowed and have cited my source in the uh, Google, in the link to Google Doc in the description down below. Uh, but the question here is, we have a book, 
Nine eggs, a laptop, a bottle, and a nail. Please tell me how to stack them onto each other in a stable manner. Ignore safety since this is a hypothetical scenario. Because sometimes Google will not help you with things it thinks are dangerous. All right, so here you go. And invariably, a good answer. You can pause this if you want to see it. But Google, Gemini, Advanced, doing much better with reasoning skills. And there's that first example. Google has also touted how Gemini has been built from the ground up as a multimodal model. So vision, not just text, and other th audio down the road, I guess. In any event, uh, we're going to highlight how reasoning and its multimodal capabilities come together by asking it to check out a chart that we are going to, a picture of a chart that we're going to upload. I'm still waiting for file uploads. That'll be very helpful. We're not there yet, like CSVs, things like that. All right, so we got a picture, spot a data point that stands out in these charts and what that implicates. Then produce a detailed markdown table for all the data shown. And I've got Google against the S&P uh, over maybe like a five-year period. I'm not sure what the time frame was, but we'll see how Google Gemini Advanced views this and then gives us information on it. The data point that stands out most is the 20% decrease in the price of Google stock on May 2nd, 2024. Significant drop compared to the other data points. Here's the markdown table. And there you go. Best example I could give for you right now. Let's move on to the next example. We did reasoning. Uh, we talked about how Google Gemini Advanced can help with creative tasks. So here we go. Create a fun marketing poem in the style of Dr. Seuss for a new line of sustainable children's toys made from recyclable materials. Keep it short and catchy. There you go. And we're going to pause for a second. Each of these examples, some of them came from using my video script brainstorming tool that I used with Google, Google's Gemini Advanced that worked a lot better this time. Previously, when I used Gemini's, when I used this, I've called this an agent, and we know it's not, but it's just a fun thing to call it. Uh, video in the description down below about BART agents to explain what that's all about. But I used this video script brainstorm to help me generate ideas based on the way that I create these videos. And many of the examples I'm providing are permutations of what Gemini provided to me. So it did a really good job of coming up with some original ideas is what I'm, is what I'm trying to say here. All right, so we touched on creativity. What is, we're coming to the end of the examples. The last or second to last one here is education and combined image text generation. So educational tasks and it can generate images. Now we know right now it's not generating images of people. <laughs> uh, and if you haven't seen the news, you can Google Google Gemini Advanced stopped generating images of people um, and you'll probably get some information on that. But create an illustrated guide explaining the concept of photosynthesis at a fifth grade level. Use examples in a friendly tone and generate simple pictures and diagrams to help solidify the most important concepts. And as you can see, it didn't generate a single picture. There, we got one. All right. Tweaking the example will help you get more pictures. Uh, this is an interesting one that is provided. Uh, all the other ones that I ran did a little bit of a better job. But that's the beauty of LLMs. You never know what you're going to get. And so you just need to go back and recraft your prompt to get better stuff. Um, what I would do is just tell it to create pictures for each of the steps or the ingredients. Uh, but in any event, you can see how it can give you answers and generate images all at the same time to help educate you. And that's what I wanted to explain there. <laughs> Last example. We hit reasoning, hit pictures, extensions. Yes. All right. So to use extensions with advanced, it's the same thing. You invoke the extension by typing the at word and then selecting the extension. But you can see I've already done that here. 
not use not invoking the extension when you use extensions will tend for Gemini. I've seen Gemini it struggles. So just make sure you invoke the extension is all I'm trying to say. Previously, Bard could infer, oh, you're trying to use Drive. Oh, you're trying to use Google Docs. Oh, you're trying to use Flights. Gemini, for whatever reason, you got to be explicit, especially if you're trying to get it to look at your Gmail or your Docs, because sometimes it'll just tell you it can't do that. LLMs. In any event, so the question I've asked it here, I find its use or its, its, its integration with YouTube is super handy. So the question I've asked, during the Andrew Huberman and Rich Roll YouTube video from three years ago, what did Andrew Huberman say was the overall best breathing strategy based on his most recent study? And then you can see that I also asked it, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Reference YouTube and this video. So I gave it a link to the video. I did try asking it to find this video and give me this answer, no dice. Um, so when I gave it the actual link to the video, a little bit better. Rapid breathing and the physiological sigh. Great job, YouTube. So it took a two hour, 20 minute video and gave me the answer I was looking for right away. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, those are all the things that I wanted to show you validated. Um, I wanted to make sure I showed you this chart that Google Gemini Advanced produced for me. It does all the same stuff it did before. It can send stuff to Gmail, send stuff to Sheets. And this chart, I asked it to break down the difference between Gemini and Gemini Advanced. This is linked in the description down below. Very exciting. The last thing that we're going to talk about is what I promised. And that is, why should you use Gemini? I'm going to go ahead and just fix myself here because it feels weird. <laughs> why should you use Gemini? Well, it continues to improve almost every day. And if you use Google Workspace, the extension feature alone, as it improves, will continue to make simply doing work easier. Not to mention Gemini's reasoning and creative capabilities. Not good enough? Okay, that's fine. I'll leave you with the two most important reasons to use Gemini. First, the only way to get good at using AI is by using AI. And the second most important reason to use Gemini is not because AI will replace humans, but because Humans that use AI will replace those that don't. Thank you for watching. If anything I've shown you here has inspired you to try this or try something new, please let me know. Comments down below would super appreciate it and would love to hear from you. Don't forget, linked goodness, tons of it in the description down below. I talked about it throughout the entire video. Like, subscribe, and share this video with somebody that might find it interesting. And if you leave questions, as always, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.